Hello everybody, Lurgs here. Welcome to my channel. I'm here to save you time and money. And today it's how to prevent your car battery going flat during lockdown. If you're not using your vehicle much, it means your battery will slowly be draining. Most modern vehicles have lots of computers and gadgets on and they'll also have an alarm system on it. So if you don't use it for a couple of weeks, the battery will drain. Now it's a good idea to keep it in tip top condition, right? Let's get cracking. If you want to stop your battery terminals corroding, you can use a special spray. If you haven't got the special spray, you can just use petroleum jelly. Just put a few scoops of this on each of the terminals to stop them corroding. Now there are different types of batteries. This one here is one that has got cells. And if you're gonna be charging this, you need to unscrew all those individual cells and make sure that the distilled water inside is topped up to the correct levels. Only ever use distilled water in these batteries. But these batteries are getting rarer and most modern batteries are a sealed unit like this one here. Here is a pretty new battery that has been left standing for about two or three weeks. And as you can see, the battery is in really good condition and it's got the protective spray on the terminals. Now let's just test this battery using a multimeter. Going to set it to 20 volts, which is the nearest setting because it's a 12 volt battery. And we've got a voltage here of 10 volts, which is absolutely awful. So that's what can happen if you don't use your vehicle for a long time. I'm just going to be checking the voltage on my van battery here today. And as you can see, we've got 12.31 volts, which isn't too bad, but it's not great. So the, what you can do is you can just go for a little drive, just give it a nice charge. But obviously, during these times of lockdown, we're not really meant to be going out for no reason. So that is not ideal for yourself or for the environment. So the best thing to do is just give the battery a little trickle charge. I'm just going to have a quick cup of tea and then I'm going to get the battery charger out. Now this one is a low ampage, so it's just a very small trickle charge so that it doesn't overload the battery. Now in an ideal world, you would disconnect the terminals from the battery, but in all the years of charging batteries, I've never had a problem charging it direct. Don't plug the battery charger into the mains just yet. You need to connect the crocodile clips first. Put the positive clip on first and then the negative clip on afterwards, but don't plug the battery charger in yet. Once those two crocodile clips are clipped on, then you can plug in the battery charger. Whilst I'm doing that, there's a link above now about how to test car fuses without pulling them out using a multimeter. Now it is actually charging now. I'm just gonna check my watch and it is 11.38. Now I'm just gonna leave this on trickle charge for an hour. Come back just over an hour later. Unplug the battery charger from the mains. Then remove the crocodile clips from the battery. And now let's test it with the multimeter. And remember earlier we had a voltage of 12.31. And after an hour of trickle charge, we've got a voltage of 12.82, which is absolutely perfect. So what you need to do is just do that every couple of weeks, just to keep it in tip top condition. If you found that video useful, please subscribe by pressing this button down here so you don't miss more videos on how to save you time and money. There's also some other videos around the edges of the screen here. If any of those are useful to you, then you can select those now. Thank you for visiting my channel, everyone. I really, really appreciate it.